Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. It's time to talk to Festus. Let me just bring up my parchment and remember what it is exactly. I must speak with Festus Crex about my next target, the renowned chef known only as the Gourmet. Need something? Alright, Festus. I think you're one of the few people that I have not spoken with. Hmm. Okay, those books don't have anything of value. Um. Wait. Who are you? Oh, Gabriella here. Festus here. There you are. Took your sweet time dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Astrid told you about the gourmet, I hope. That I need to kill him and take on his identity? Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. So you don't even know who the Gourmet is. Wonderful. Don't be so petulant. In my, uh, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the Gourmet's cookbook. <laughs> but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the Gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep at Markov. It would seem he's the cook. And this Anton Varan knows the Gourmet's true identity? I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan. Who the Gourmet really is and where he can be found. Oh, and when you're done with Varan, kill him. Loose ends and all that. Next, you'll have to... Are you still paying attention? <laughs> oh, I'm waiting with bated breath. Huh. As I was saying, you'll need to kill the Gourmet, of course. But what's more, you'll need to get his writ of passage so you can take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. What else can you tell me about the Gourmet? Uh, nobody knows his true identity. Well, nobody except Gaius Morrow. And <laughs> you've already taken care of him. Well, I do know the Gourmet was classically trained in traditional Breton cuisine in High Rock. So... That's where he must have met Anton Varan. In any event, our anonymous chef shares a passion for food with all of Tamriel. And that anonymity will prove the Emperor's undoing. Tell me about this cookbook. Uncommon taste. It was published a few years ago. It became a sensation throughout the Empire almost overnight. The recipes were hailed as both practical and decadent. I made a few of the gourmet's dishes myself, actually. His roast mutton with regard berry sauce is to die for. But his chocolate pate gives me the runs. I think that would actually be pronounced Red Guard. So, the gourmet is in Skyrim. Yes. Gaius Morrow, on orders from his father, arranged for the Gourmet to come to Skyrim months ago to serve as the Emperor's personal chef. 
But the Emperor cancelled his journey at the last minute. Morrow was smart. Kept the gourmet around, in case things changed. And so, the gourmet has remained in seclusion, somewhere in Skyrim, on indefinite hold. Probably feels like a prisoner. <laughs> but you'll fix that. Oh, of course I will. Oh, I hate to ask this question, but what can you tell me about yourself? <laughs> I like to say I was born with a wand in my hand. Well, not literally. You could see how painful that would have been for Mother. But I was a prodigy, casting simple spells by one, completing complex incantations by three, Resurrecting corpses by seven. Ah! <laughs> when I was 13, I accidentally burned down the family home. Bit of lightning gone awry. Oh, but soon after, I mastered my gifts completely. I went on to teach at the college. Left after two years. Too simple. Too safe. None of them truly understood the glory of the destruction school. Of course they didn't. It's too bad that you can't teach me anything further about that either. Remember, the Markov Keep. That's where you'll find Anton Varan. Probably cooking up all of the gourmet's recipes, passing them off as his own. All right, let's go. I serve Astrid in this sanctuary. Life is simple. Brother? Sister? Need something? Let's make sure I'm on the right horse. We got a, so many of them starting to accumulate here. All right. I think we're headed to Markarth. These vampires are becoming a real menace. Oh, you've got enough guards to take care of them. Look at this. This is ridiculous. I don't know if everybody should feel safe or threatened in this city. And we are here in Markarth to question Anton Varan. We've run into a slight hitch. I tried this a little earlier, and it seems that Anton Varan is invulnerable. I can't believe I'm posted here. Even the beds are made of stone. So I sent word to my dear friend Carlia, asking her for advice. And we're going to attempt what she's told me. And just bear with me as we go through this. There's Varan now. Yes, yes, for the hundredth time, I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. I am not a Reachman. I'm a Breton too, also from High Rock. And I know who you are, Anton, and where you're from. Who are you? What do you want? The Gourmet. Where is he? Who is he? The... the Gourmet? Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the Gourmet's identity to my grave. Hmm. You're certainly right about that. For the Dark Brotherhood, that can easily be arranged. The Dark Brotherhood? Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. I mean, surely my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Look, his name is Balagor Cronolo. He's an orc. Oh, what the? Gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. Now, now you'll let me go. Of course, Anton. And thank you. 
Okay, all right. Wonderful. You're welcome. I'll just be on my way then. Good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you too, Faline. Good day. How's it going? It's going great. All right, so what Carlia has told me is that I need to leave. Stay away from this place for a while so that Anton Varan will become an unessential character that I can later come back and kill. So that's what we're going to try. If that doesn't work, then we will have to take more stringent methods. Using something called console commands. Alright. We will continue next time. In the meantime, I'm going to leave you with some clips of my attempts at killing Anton Varan. Until next time. Now, now you'll let me go, right? Stupid dog. <laughs> I'm afraid not. Loose ends and all that. No. Oh, please, no. Oh, good. He's just gonna walk over there. Let me just... Wait, he's still alive? What do you think you're doing? Help! I'm being attacked! Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! What do you think you're doing? Help me! Help me! No! Someone there. Hmm. Now you'll let me go, right? Of course, Anton. Thank you. Okay, all right. Wonderful. You're welcome. I'll just be on my way then. Yes. Oh, there's a witness back here, too.